Okay, guys, so that went well. So I got the job. But I am going to go for the next interview as well. Um, the interview I've got on Tuesday for the other job that I've applied for. And then I'm going to make a decision. Hey, guys, welcome back to my channel. And today, Ben Sullivan has got a job interview. In fact, he's got two interviews in the space of a few days. So something very special happened. And I can't believe that he's just that stupid. If you already follow this, you already know what I'm going to say. But let's get into it. How's that look? Zoe? Oh, sorry, How's that look? Yeah. Thanks for that. <laughs> yeah, I'm with Ben with this one. Um, Zoe doesn't seem all that interested or supportive or encouraging or anything like that, as we'll see quite throughout this video. In fact, she is very much the same. She doesn't seem to give it her husband too much support you know he's going for a big job interview now and it is very important not just for himself but for the family in order to keep the you know the munchies coming in the grocery hauls you know those big grocery hauls they don't pay for themselves they they need jobs you know in order to pay for them but uh, zoe doesn't seem too interested Yeah. What a smart man standing like this. That's because I'm wearing a shirt and tie. Yeah. How does it how does it look? It looks fine. You need a little yeah. lasers you can look at your mother at the kingdom. It's very smart. But don't stand like this, like you've got like in the head and a neck <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Ben, listen to your lovely wife. She says that you look very smart, but uh, you know, don't just stand just like that. You, you know, you look a bit of a prat. That's what she's trying to tell you. I mean, it's not nice, I know, but it is it is what it is. Listen to her, okay? Good old wins or not. There you go. Ben's got his um, OS habit. Look, you stand in your position. <laughs> okay, guys, that's me ready. Right. I'm going to go over now. I'm going to drive over to Elgin. Yeah. I'm going to go for the job interview. Yeah. Yeah. And then I'll report back to you after. Go Wish me luck! Thank you. <laughs> oh, yes, God. I haven't worn a shirt and tie for ages. Wish me luck. Good luck, Ben. Good luck. Hope you do well. I mean, it's, it's quite sad the way that he shouted for his wife to wish him luck. And she just shouted, but I didn't, didn't come to the door or anything to see him off to wish him proper luck or anything like that. No. And then he turns to the camera and asks his um, followers to wish him luck. It seems all very sad, you know. Maybe the his fans. Does he have fans? Anybody know, does Ben have fans? Yeah, maybe his fans will support him more than his wife. Okay, guys, so that went well. So I got the job. Oh, well done. Congratulations. You're in order. Bit of bubbly tonight, then, Ben. Bit of bubbly. So, um, you know, well done. First time of asking. Brilliant. But I am going to go for the next interview as well. Um, the interview I've got on Tuesday for the other job that I've applied for. And then I'm going to make a decision. Well, me thinks that the decision may be out of your hands after this vlog goes up. <laughs> what an absolute moron. I'm sorry. <laughs> so what he's done here is he's actually gone for a job interview. He's been offered the job there and then, right? And he, he comes back straight away onto the vi video, records on the, on the vlog, and says that... He's going to go for the other job that he's got lined up because he's not made his mind up yet, you know. And if I was the employer looking at this now, I would say, right, no, you're not having that. you're not having this job because you don't actually want the job, right? Employers, believe it or not, want people 
who want to work for them specifically, right? If you turn around and say, yeah, well, I'm looking to see if I get a better offer first, you know. <laughs> Absolute more. I, on, honestly, I can't believe he's done this. I'm going to make a decision then. Um, but that was good. So it's a really good bit of experience. Um, yeah, I'm glad I went to that interview, obviously, because I've been, I've been offered the job. And it's also good practice for the next one. Yeah, that's uh, that's <laughs> that's brilliant. You know, the your new employer will will be glad that you that they acted as good practice for the real job interview <laughs> that you've got lined up. Bloody hell! Which is on Tuesday, so all good, all good. I'm just, I don't know what I expected. I don't, know, I don't know what I expect. Do you know what it is? It when when you when you're the person that goes out to work, it's uh, and you know your contract's coming up to an end. It's very very worrying, and you end up with a lot on your shoulders because obviously you need to find another job and things like that. So, yeah. See, this is why I don't get Zoe's like manner that she she portrayed before Ben went out for the interview. It's like. I do understand where Ben's coming from. It is a, a big responsibility. He's the main breadwinner of the family and he's the one that's got to get another job. You know, it's a lot to take on on his shoulders, as he said. But Zoe was like, yeah, whatever, you know, whatever. You do you sort of thing. And she didn't seem all that interested. And obviously... Um... In Elgin, in this area, as like other areas like this, you know, jobs are, f are few and far between, and, and and whatever else. So, I'm glad I got, I'm glad I went to the interview, I've got the job. That's brilliant. But now I'm going to go to the one in, on Tuesday as well, and um, see what happens with that interview. But it's all good. And yeah, he reinforced the fact that he is definitely going to the next interview, even though he's got this job, he just wants to see whether or not he gets the next job, isn't it? You know, and as I said, if I was the employer that had just offered him that job, I would withdraw my jo job offer. I would definitely. So, um, uh, you know, maybe YouTube doesn't uh, offer brain cells to go with the the uh, fame and stardom that Ben requires. So along came Tuesday and true to his word, he did in fact go for the second job interview. Okay guys, I am back from the school run. It's about 20 past nine and I'm going to get ready for my second interview. Um, and to be honest with you, this is the one I really wanna nail today. And that just makes it worse. That makes everything worse, him saying that. Because not only has he said a few days ago that he got the interview, he got the job sorted, and he's going for another interview, so his employer would be like, what the fuck? Uh, he's just said on here now that this is the one that he really, really wants, and he didn't actually want the other one. So what's he going to do going to work for a company he don't want to work for in the first place, you know? I mean, not everybody gets a job that they really want to work for that specific company, but you don't tell the employer that. You don't tell You don't. You just don't. Right. Um, I've ironed the trusty old shirt. We're ready to go. Shoes are clean. I've got all the got all the things I need to take with me. All my certificates and things. So, um, yeah, quite an important day today. See, I have a theory. Okay, he's taken all his certificates and things for this very very important job that he really really wants to get, and he didn't do that in the previous job. What's the bet in the last job was like Asta or something like that, you know, <laughs> which would be perfect for him. Let's be fair, you know, they spend half their time vlogging about what they buy in Asta and things like that. So maybe that was his first thought, you know. Quite an important day. So I'm a little bit apprehensive, but I'm trying not to be too nervous. So fingers crossed again today. Fingers crossed. Then he gets ready with his trusty shirt and tie again, looking very dapper, I've got to say, Ben, very dapper indeed. Ready? I'm sure you're going to knock them dead in this interview. 
Okay, guys, I'm ready. How do I look? Well, you look good, Ben. You look stunning. You look sensational. You look like you're ready to get a job, right? A second job. Another job, possibly. Maybe the other job has already con contacted you and told you to F off by now. I think I look okay. Oh, it's always a bit worrying when there's a sickness bug going around the house and I'm like just telling myself, yeah, because then you start getting these like symptomatic, I don't know whether it's sympathy pains or whatever it is, you know, stomach pains and maybe it's just nerves. You think you're going to be ill as well, don't you? Yeah, it's not sympathy pains because your kid is sick, right? <laughs> I don't think so anyway. No, it sounds more like nerves, butterflies, you know, in the old stomach, you know. It's right down there, giving you all this jip and hell, wanting you to get the job, but it just won't let you, right? Yeah, anyway, what do you think? Do I look okay? I think I look okay. Well, I can't do any better than that, not unless I go and buy some Gucci suit from London or something. There we go. I bloody love you to buy a Gucci suit, Ben. I really would love to see you in that suit. In fact, you know, give it a few more years. You might have a bit of YouTube money saved up, you know. Um, divvy it up between the 14 of you, the cash that you're earning right now. <laughs> you know? By the way, are you actually doing that? Are you putting this money away for your kids, you know, the, the money that you're using to exploit them? I, I know you don't get a lot of money for doing this, but it's still their money. Okay guys, I am here. So I'm a little bit early, but that's not a bad thing because I found where I'm supposed to be. So I'm just gonna gather my thoughts for 10 minutes um, before I wander over and go for the interview. Yeah. <clears throat> interview number two. Yes, I have got literally everything crossed for this one. So I'm hoping that I do all right. And like Zoe said, just be myself. Just be myself. Don't try and be something that I'm not, so. Well, I don't know if uh, that's the best advice. I know most people would say, just be yourself. You can't do more than that. But, you know, in your case, Ben, I would make an exception. Possibly try and rein in the yourselfness because <laughs> it's not the best personality trait. I think that's what I'm going to do. <clears throat> Still very nervous. It's very nerve wracking, especially when you haven't really interviewed in about 20 odd years. OK, so, Ben, I don't like to burst your bubble here a little bit, but wasn't the thing that you did a few days ago, was that not an interview or what was happening with that? Is that what's like a was that like a mock interview? Was there, it actually didn't happen or what? But also, wasn't it last year when you got this current job and you had an interview for that? Just. I'm I'm just saying, I know maybe you mean you don't have many interviews, but you have had interviews over the past 20 odd years. Um, yeah. But wish me luck, guys. I'm going to go in in a minute um, and then I'll report back after and tell you how I got on. He's going to re report back to us. That's nice, isn't it, Ben? Thank you for reporting back to us, like some official business that you need to let everybody know about. Does anybody actually care or um, I don't know? OK, guys, that's the interview done. So I was in there for about half an hour. Um, I think it went well. I think it went really well. I'm not going to know for um, a week, but I think it went well. So, you know, this whole, you won't know for a week, but your other job has, when does that start, the other job? I mean, will that start before you find out about this? Will there be an overlap? Will you have to quit your job, your new job, in order to go for this, to start this job, if that's what you want to do? I have so many questions. But, you never know, do you? You never know. So, um... I couldn't have done any more. Um, I think I sold, I, I sold myself as well as I could. Well, selling yourself is good. It is good. It's better than selling your kids, which you usually do. Um, so I'm quite proud of how I did. So even if I don't get the job, uh, I'm quite proud of how I did. So think, but fingers crossed, 
that um, all went well and they liked what they saw and um, I get the job. So uh, I will keep you informed, I'll keep you up to date. So it's a bit of a wait now until uh, I find out. It's a little bit nerve wracking, but um, it is what it is. Um, no, I think it went well. So I'm going to head home now and go and speak to Zoe. See, the other aspect of this is, you know, these employers or prospective employers will need to look at the application and the interview and make a decision, right? And if he's putting it out there and talking about it online, maybe the employer doesn't want to want this. You know, maybe he doesn't want you to go and talk to your fans about it or maybe, I don't know, you know, maybe he doesn't even know you're a YouTuber, but knowing you, Ben, you probably let it slip a little bit, didn't you? Tried to sell him a little bit of merch. Did you try to get him as a fan, ask him to subscribe? Job interview went well today. Um, I'm not going to hear anything back for a while, for a week. But then I feel it went okay. Good. So we'll see how that goes. And there again is Zoe's complete disinterest. Ben says, oh, I think my job interview went well. And it, Zoe went, good. Yeah. So what else do you want me to say? You know, that sort of thing. She just has no sort of interest whatsoever in whether or not Ben does well. I, I don't understand this dynamic. Uh, that is Tuesday, Wednesday, tomorrow. I am... Um... My last day of work tomorrow. Be handing my laptop in tomorrow. That'll be my last day of work. So I hope I hear about the other other jobs soon. Or like I said, in a week. Um, yeah, I'm still looking for work anyway. Okay, so that is very confusing. Why are you still looking for work? Right, you've got one job offer and one on the table. Right, one that you're waiting for. Right, so. You're saying that if you don't get this job, you are still looking for work, even though you've been offered another job. Why? Why exactly? Don't tell me. <laughs> like one or two things has happened, right? One, he's turned it down. He doesn't want that job because, as I said, it's probably in Asda or something like that, and he doesn't want to work that type of work. Or secondly, the employer has in fact already seen the vlog <laughs> and contacted them and said, right, no, your name's off the list now. <laughs> You're a fucking moron. Seriously. So that, you know, let me know what you think about this situation. I just had to talk about it because, oh my God, when I watched it, I was like, oh, what is he doing? Why? <laughs> Why would he do that? Seriously. Oh my God. Yeah. Let me know what you think about it. Comment all your thoughts about it down below and subscribe to the channel if you are new. And obviously as well, give me a thumbs up. That would help me out so much. Until next time, take care of yourselves and bye-bye.